Okay guys, welcome back to Engineers Academy. Now we are going to solve this problem which says that determine the angle theta between the pipe segments BA and BC. So we have to find this angle theta between these two pipe segments BA and BC. So we can find this by using the dot product. So if we take the dot product of the position vector from B to A, if I define the position vectors, so we will have two position vectors, one is from B to A. So this is the position vector from B to A and the dot product with the position vector from B to C. So this will be the position vector from B to C. So if we take the dot product of the position vector from B to A with the dot product with the position vector from B to C, so this will be equal to the magnitude of the position vector from B to C and the magnitude of the, this is from B to A and the magnitude of the position vector from B to C cos of theta and from this we can write that cos of theta will be equal to the position vector from B to A dot product with the position vector from B to C divided by their corresponding magnitudes. So this will give us cos of theta. So first of all, we have to find the position vector from B to A. So the position vector from B to A. So to find the position vector from B to A, we need to move, we need to reach that point A from B. So we need to move along the x, y and z axis. So if we are here, so we need to move this distance in the negative x direction and this distance is 3 feet. So I will write that we need to move 3 feet distance in the negative i direction. And then from here we need to move this 4 feet distance in the negative j in the negative y. So we will write minus 4 j. So we will reach that point A. So this is the position vector from B to A. And now we will find its magnitude as well. So the magnitude of the position vector from B to A will be minus 3 square plus minus 4 square and then we will take the square root. So this will give us the position vector from B to A. So minus 3 square is 9 and minus 4 square is 16. So this is 5. So this is 5 meters. Sorry, this is 5 feet. Since the units are given in feet, so this is 5 feet. And now the position vector from B to C, the position vector from B to C, so we need to travel from B to reach that point C. So first of all, we need to travel uh, this four feet distance in the negative J direction, in the negative Y direction. So I will write minus four J. So we will reach here. And then from here, we need to move four feet distance in the positive I direction, that is in the positive X. So I will write plus four I. And then we need to move uh, from here until here, from here to here in the positive y direction and that is 4 plus 2 so that is 6 feet. So I will write plus 6 j and then from here we need to move 4 feet distance in the negative z so I will write minus 4 k. So we can add both of these this is minus 4 plus 6 j so this is plus 2 j so let me write that this is plus 2 j. So this is the position vector from B to C and we can find its magnitude. So its magnitude is plus 4 square plus 2 square and that minus 4 square and then we will take the square root. So this will give us the magnitude of the position vector from B to C. So the, pos the magnitude of the position vector from B to C is 6. This is 6. Now we need to put all those values in this equation. This is cos of theta and the position vector from B to A. Let me write it here. This is cos of theta. The position vector from B to A is minus 3i. This is minus 3i minus 4j dot product with the position vector from B to C which is 4i plus 2j minus 4k and divided by the corresponding magnitude. So the magnitude of uh, position vector BA is 5 feet and the position vector of uh, B to C is 6. So we can write this as 1, 6 into 5 is 30 and the dot product of this is we need to multiply the i component with i, j with j and k with k. 
So this is minus 3 into 4, so that is minus 12. And then minus 4 into 2, so that is minus 8j. And there is 0k, so 0 with 4 is 0, right? So this is so this is minus 12 minus 8, so this is minus 20 minus 20. So minus 20 divided by 30, so that is minus 2 divided by 3. So from this we can write that cos of theta is minus 2 divided by 3. And if we take cos inverse, so that will be the angle cos inverse minus 2 divided by 3. So this is 131.81, so that theta is 131.81 degrees. So the angle between the pipe segments BA and BC is 131.81 degrees. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do remember to hit the like button if it helps in your learning. Also let me know in the comment section if you people want me to solve such more problems from Hibler Dynamics.